Invite a budget blind style consultant to show you how to transform your rooms just by changing your window coverings. Canada's number one choice for window coverings. Visit budgetblinds.ca today. This is New Cap News with Jeremy Thompson. Good evening and thank you for joining us. The Ronald McDonald House charity is celebrating 30 years of keeping families together during times of crisis. The organization has hosted a charity walk to continue raising funds for an initiative that was first started back in 1985. Chris Chacon has more. 29 years ago, a vision of building a house to accommodate families whose children are receiving medical care became a reality. In 1985, the original Ronald McDonald House was built in Saskatoon and it was able to support 13 families. Prairie North Health Region has the highest number of people who stay there come from the Prairie North Health Region. This year alone since January, the Ronald McDonald House in Saskatoon has helped 163 families. With such a big demand over the years, the vision has expanded to a larger location that can support double that amount, 34 families from around the province. The Ronald McDonald House has been a huge support to my family this year. My sister's family has a daughter that's going through cancer treatments and so they stay there frequently and the house has been a huge support to us. The cost for families is only $10 per night, including special amenities. They have meals provided, there's laundry facilities, there's like a support group with the other families in the community. And All this is made possible through generous donations. However, this inaugural event is not only aimed at raising money. We really want to stress the awareness. Money is a bonus. We are grateful for every cent that we get. We don't have a goal in mind for raising money. We just really want to raise awareness. We want to see the house full all the time. There are 14 Ronald McDonald houses across Canada, and every year they support more than 20,000 families with a home away from home. Krisha Khan, New Cap News. 500 people. That's how many Albertans die from suicide every year. Three quarters of those deaths are men between the ages of 30 and 69. That's the inspiration behind the Keep Him Here campaign, backed by the government of Alberta. Now, in recognition of the victims and their families, a walk of remembrance was held in Bud Miller Park yesterday. I think people are becoming more aware. Uh, people are opening up and being able to talk without shame and meet each other. And that's what it's all about. Everyone walking has been affected by suicide in some way each of them carrying a carnation to remember those who are gone. Eleven years ago, I lost my daughter Victoria uh, to suicide. Um, she was 15. So it's just a way of um, honoring her and remembering her and uh, kind of supporting all the other ones that have been through the same thing. Support is the main theme of the walk. Participants working to comfort each other and remove the stigma of discussing suicide publicly. The burden kind of gets a little easier, I guess, and uh, you kind of understand why she did it, and uh, the guilt gets a little bit less each year. The walk follows World Suicide Prevention Day, which was proclaimed by the mayor for September 10th, last council meeting. All right, Chris, as you well know, and I'm sure some of our viewers do, every Sunday we take a good look on social media, oh, yeah. uh, looking for any great pictures that have the hashtag YLL or Lloyd Minster. And today we stumbled upon a very relevant pic from our very own Annika Notfate. All right. She tweeted this saying, getting the grain in the bin before the storm clouds rolled in. Uh, it's very, uh, very relevant as harvest continues. I think that gives Annika a little bit of uh, farming street cred. Do you, yeah, have any, do you have any farming street cred? I wonder, no, me no. not at all. No, I just <laughs> sh shop at the grocery store. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it looks like a beautiful day to, uh, to get the harvest in.